hey guys welcome back to my channel if it's your first time here hi my name is sarah and if you're returning thank you so much for coming back this video is going to be a story time it's been a while since i did one of this something actually happened that made me remember the story time and i was like this is going to be an interesting story to tell on my youtube channel so yeah i'm going to be telling you guys this story today and i'm sure you guys have already seen in the title but then this story is the story of how i moved out with literally no money at 19 and yeah if you guys want to hear the tea and hear how all of this went down thank you for watching but before we get right into this story time i just want to talk about this hair because i know i'll get questions and yeah this wig is from rpg show wig thank you so much to them for sponsoring this video i'm going to leave all the links to this hair in the description box below so this is their curly wig and i think this i believe this is 14 inches yeah this is their 14 inches curly wig i've had this hair on for three days now straight and i've been loving it clearly i really love the fact that it holds curls very well as you guys can see i also added some cancel leave-in conditioner just to help my curls pop more that's what i use for my curly hair to help it pop more and i use some styling mousse also um styling mousse Kind of keeps your hair stiff so i don't really like to use that one all the time if you want to get more information about this hair i'm going to be leaving all the details in the description box below so if you want it you can get it and i also have a discount code which i'll be leaving i'm also going to be showing you guys how i achieved this install so you guys are going to see how i installed this hair and i'm going to leave timestamps also in in the description box below so if that's something you're not interested in you can just keep to the story time
this story time this happened i'm currently 21 years old now in case you're wondering so this happened when i was 19 yeah it, i think it was 20 it was 2019 this all happened in 2019 in case you're wondering it's not like i moved out of my parents house i'm still in my parents house yeah <laughs> So this happened back when I was in China and every time I think about this story or every, every time I tell any of my friends or family this story they're just like wow that was such a bold move and even me thinking of it like every time I sit down and dip this I'm just like I, I really had the balls to do this. <laughs> Let me just tell you guys like my main reason for giving this story time. Mm, I'm just trying to like refresh my memory and so this is not just like a story for you guys to sit down and just chill and listen to but this is also like um, motivation for me because this just tells me of how much I used to believe in myself so much before and I realized that of late I've low-key or high-key been doubting myself and I've just been in my shell basically so I, I, I just hope that telling this story is just going to remind me of how bold I, I was and how honestly anything is, is possible yeah uh, i'm going to start from um january of 2019 at the beginning of the year like my january of 2019 was just uh yeah i started the year off like on a very rough path i literally like didn't have a side hustle if i say so because the only thing i used to do back then in school was braid hair and I was, that was all i used to do and i used to get to braid hair let me say like two times a week and what i was getting was like nothing it was like almost nothing to be honest <laughs> because what i used to get kind of like finish in like two days and that was it so i had to be doing it consistently and i was in school so i didn't have the time and another down for me was that there were barely any girls in my school so sometimes i have to go to you which i think i wasn't really comfortable with and yeah it was just a lot of errors and at that time i used to get pocket money back from from home from back home i used to get pocket money but you know you can you can never go wrong with having more and i just wanted to do something with my life i just wanted to have something during my life and i remember i wrote down my goals because i was staying in the dormitory at that time and I, I wrote down my goals and one of my goals was to <laughs> take notes this was coming from somebody that had like literally no side hustle i had no other source of income apart from like my pocket money that was coming from home and in a month i was getting like let's say in dollars like 300 dollars which might sound like a lot but once you're in nigeria but once you're in another country it's really really not enough like let me if i'm going to be honest with you guys it's really not enough it's really not a lot so sometimes it will be less safe so it's just whatever you get you take it <laughs> So I really, I remember like one of my goals was that I really wanted to leave the dormitory. I wanted to move out of the dormitory, but then, and I, I, I wrote down in my book, I wrote down that I want to move out to a two bedroom apartment and I have to, I want to have one room for my filming and all of that. And it was just like, you know how when you're just writing, it's just dreams. It's just, and I really didn't have any plan. I really didn't have a plan to make this work. January came by, February, March, April, and that was just in my book. And then I remember in May, at that time i started watching a lot of like motivational videos telling you oh um, if you don't like your job leave that job you know those kind of videos that are somewhat unrealistic if i do say so yeah, those kind of videos i'll just be telling you to take unrealistic moves are somewhat motivational but then they're just telling you if you don't love that job you're in leave that job if you don't like that space you're in leave that space blah blah yeah mm -hmm. so and another problem i had was that being in that space i was in dormitory was really small for me so i couldn't film my videos so i was really inconsistent my youtube was just dead it was just uh, i wasn't doing anything all i was doing was just cool which is good but that's not what i really wanted to do at that time so i was like okay if i move out i'm going to have one room for my filming this that 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 and yeah i had about 500 rmb to my name like that was all i had which was part of the money i got from home and at that time that was about i think 26k naira I took that money and then I called my friend, one of my friends, and I was like, hi, please, I need you to get me an agent. I want to get a house. Take notes. I had no money. And he was like, oh, I'm happy for you. So you have the money to move out and all. I was like, no, just get me an agent. So he gave me the contact of some agents and I just went to meet the agent. And I told her, oh, I want to get a one bedroom. At that time, I was still doubting myself. I was like, mm, I don't even have the money, but let's just see. Like, I was just doing it out of, let's just go and see. So she showed me one bedroom apartment and I wasn't really comfortable with it. I didn't like how it looked. 
of course it was cheaper but like i just didn't like how it looked at least i didn't like how the one bedroom apartment she showed me looked then i was like okay you know what show me two bedroom apartments somebody that can't even afford one bedroom apartment is telling me to show two bedroom so she took me to the two bedroom apartments she took me to the first one and it was it was like an airbnb yeah they were using it for airbnb so there were people inside it was nice but i was like okay i'll take this one but she was like there's another one she wanted to show me and she took me to that one immediately i walked into that apartment i fell in love and it was like it was a new building so i was going to be the first person that lived in it people stayed there but it was just for like airbnb for i think two weeks yeah according to her that was what she said so i was going to be the first person to leave there then i was like you know what i'm taking this apartment then she was like okay um i have to pay for six months i was like sure no problem i'm going to pay just give me some time and i'm going to pay for six months take note i didn't know how i was going to raise this money and compared to how much i was paying the dormitory the rent for a year was like almost three times what i was going i was paying before it was almost three times of what i was paying before and then i was like i don't have the money now but i just need you guys to keep this place for me i'm going to pay and they're like if somebody else has the money we're going to give them i was like no then they said i should pay like 700 down payments i was like sure no problem so i called my boyfriend and i was like yo please give me 700 because it was just like out of the blue normally if i need money i'll say give me money for this but i was like give me 700 he was like what are you using 700 for then i was like just give you 700 i'm going to give you back and then he was like oh okay he sent it to me and then i was like oh here's the 700 keep this apartment for me i remember they said they gave me 25 days to pay for six months and i was like i'm going to come up with the money since five days i got i also bargained for the place but still it was like quite pricey when i went back to my room i was just deep in it i was like sarah what have you done so i called my mom and i told her yo i got an apartment i want to leave the dormitory and i didn't tell my mom the price i'm just going to say in naira in naira for a year it was like over a million <laughs> Coming from somebody that cannot even pay anything, I wasn't even feeding myself. I wasn't even buying clothes for myself. Literally everything was my. I was like under my mom because I left. Because when I was in Nigeria, like I had a side hustle. I was a makeup artist. But when I came to China, I was just there. Like there weren't even girls in my school for me to do makeup for. Do you get? So my side hustles were just once in a blue moon. I called my mom. She was like, "How much? How much is it for the place?" I literally told her like quarter of what the fee was I, I even lied and said oh it's 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 like it's just like 50k more expensive than the dormitory she was like oh okay that's good that's not bad meanwhile it was like times three so i told her i was like yo please can you just pay for me for like three months and after that you don't have to pay again like, no no i told her that she should just pay for six months for me and if she pays for six months then i'm covered like she doesn't have to pay for anything again but she was like how are you going to get the money i was like don't worry i'm going to do it she was like don't go out and start something you cannot finish and then my mom was like trying to see if she could just my mom was just like do you know what i'm going to pay everything for you don't worry but you just have to wait like just wait and you move out next month and i'll pay everything for you i was like no i don't want i'm going to do it myself just pay for six months for me take notes this six months fee i was telling her was actually for like two months in, in real life it was like fees for like two months so it was like hmm she was like okay i'll pay for six months since you can do it on your own no problem so she gave me the fee for for six months so i was holding my so i had my two months rent and in china like you have to pay for at least six months yeah most places i think it's at least six months before you come moving so i got my friend and because the agent i used was like the same agent he used and i told my friend i was like yo like please just help me beg this woman let her just collect for three months because like i can't like i can't get the money now and time is getting like it was getting late he was like Sh like three months he was like nobody collects for three months so also Marsha, we went to her and we we're begging her she refused and guys i literally stole because she was calling because they don't give you your landlord or landlady's number before and we move in right is after you make the payment to get a number i literally stole this number from her phone she was holding it and then i took a picture of her phone and then i, I texted my landlady because she my land god bless that woman she's so nice and my landlady let me pay for, for three months sorry how i got the third month's um rent was like my boyfriend and my sister yeah they, they were willing to help me 
with more but guys i was so stubborn i was like i don't need anybody i'm going to do this by myself blah 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 finally let me pay for three months and take note this three months i paid for was like two months and then one month i think it's called yajin that's like a down payment for a month that you make just in case you break anything in the house fast forward fast forward because i don't want the story time to be too long fast forward to when i moved out i was taking my sister and my boyfriend through this journey with me and they were just like like you know how people that care about you don't want to discourage you they were just like yeah we believe in you you can do it but like mm, are you sure <laughs> Are you sure you want to do this? You don't have any source of income. What are you doing? I was like, I don't know how it's going to happen, but something is going to happen and it is going to happen. I just had so much faith. Like I just had, I don't know where that confidence came from. When I moved in, I have two months rent and take note, two months will go like, like fast. In, in China, time goes fast. I don't know if it's just me, but time goes so fast in China. Give me five weeks to come up with my remaining six months rent. Yeah. They gave me five weeks to come up with my remaining six months and that's after I moved in so like I was under another pressure like to this day I don't know what gave me that mind or the balls to do that so my sister and my boyfriend were just like yeah you can do it but at the same time are you sure like are you sure you know, you know how they just want to tell you hmm, maybe you should calm down but they don't want to say it directly and they were doing that a lot but I was like you guys I don't need your help I'm going to do this by myself so yeah so that happened and i remember telling my boyfriend i was like yo like if i can't come up with this rent i'm not going back to the dormitory i'm going to move it with you I, i'm moving it with you like there's there's nothing wrong with like moving out and then moving back into the dormitory but uh, it's just kind of if i'm going to be honest it's kind of embarrassing so why did you move out in the first place if you knew you couldn't you couldn't afford it like why did you not move out yeah so i moved into the place and everything um <laughs> i remember like after i paid for those like when i moved in i literally had like like 300 rmb in my account that's what i had 300 rmb it was 200 and something even i remember this so clearly because i was just deep in the moment and this was like 10,000 naira. in naira, this was like thank you so i was just deep in it i was like yo i'm really in an apartment and my apartment was it was beautiful it was white like that was all i wanted i wanted it for my for the aesthetics of my youtube because you know youtube right now and i was at 1k subscribers at that time yeah i was at 1k subscribers but i just wanted to put in work to my youtube and just give it my all then remember like when i moved in because because apartments in china come with like everything fridge washing machine everything you don't need to you just come with your stuff um, I remember when I moved in, I didn't even have, I didn't have anything, anything in my fridge. <laughs> I didn't have anything. Shout out to my boyfriend. Like, he, he really came through for me. He literally did, like, my shopping. He stocked my fridge for me. He, he stocked the whole fridge. And me, I was still for me, like, I don't need it. I don't know why I needed it. I was broke. <laughs> then, <laughs> but yeah, I was for me, I don't need it. But he really, he, all, like, my basic things that I needed to buy yeah he came through for me at that time i was living in my lavish apartments living my best life me and my, i had five five weeks to pay my rent so are you, going, are you telling me that i'm just going to live in this apartment for five weeks and then they're going to kick me out back to the dormitory i was like no this is not going to happen so i got um at this at this points like we went on holiday you're not allowed to work in china but then i got a job illegally and then i got caught by the police yeah and when the police caught me i had to leave my job so i basically worked there for like one week and i lost my job so <laughs> i was just like what the hell like what am i going to do because from my calculations my job was going to cover my rent for me and i was like yeah i'm going to do my youtube and i'll be doing this job and whenever my youtube should blow by god's grace i leave this job so i lost my job because the police caught me so i was doomed i was stuck so <laughs> life was just happening i was just like okay she was getting real this was like two weeks and i at this point i had like three weeks i was like what am i going to do i'm stuck guys during the third week yeah during the third week my youtube stayed blowing up 
but and when I say my YouTube started blowing up, I'm talking about that like, it was blowing up so fast. And then by the next week, in like one week, I had gotten to 20k subscribers. Whew. Like I was just dipping this, but still, like it's not it's not immediately you can get the money from YouTube tickets. You I was just dipping and I, I became so happy. Like I was just thanking God because that was clearly a miracle. So at this point, brands they're reaching out to me, and most of the brands that were reaching out to me were in China. So I didn't have to wait. Normally, like like now in Nigeria, some brands I work with in China, I have to wait like two weeks for stuff to get to me. You no, know, like if I talk to the brand today, by tomorrow my stuff have arrived. So I was able to do the job fast. Fast. I was able to do all the jobs fast like in one day I'll film like four videos in two days I'm getting I'm filming like eight videos I'm talking about like I was going ham I was going off I was just going off going off going off and in like I think in like 10 days okay at that point I still hadn't come up with the full money but like I told the woman like just give me one more week and my landlady God bless that woman like she was so kind and guys like i literally got to pay my rent for the whole year <laughs> so i had five weeks to come up with my rent and by the third week i was still broke but guys by the fifth week i didn't even they were they were telling me to pay for six months so i just had to add like four months more but the way god came through for me i paid for the whole year <laughs> so like every time I think about that I'm just like what gave me the courage how why was I that bold and it just showed me that if you believe in yourself and go for something especially when you believe in yourself so much I feel like that thing will have no option than to just happen for you even though I, I still think that was so risky that was such a risky step that I took like I was literally telling my I, I told my mom the story a few months ago and she was like Sarah, you were paying that much for rent when you when you had no job. Like what? Everybody's just like, how are you going to go and carry a house for that price? When like I could have easily gone for like a one bedroom, but I was like, no, I want one room for my use. And yeah, I'm just I, I'm so pr thinking of thinking of it right now. Like I'm so proud of myself. Um, I'm proud of myself. Yeah by myself and i just hope this reminds me of how i used to believe in myself and how i thought i, I could really do anything <sighs> and yeah i just hope this story encouraged somebody or motivated somebody you really don't know how far you can go until you try yeah you, you really don't know how far or how big something can get until you try it and i feel like mine was also a lot of grace of god because i became prayer warrior at that time because i can't go through that embarrassment but yeah it was honestly the grace of god and how much i believed and yeah Thank you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this story time. I really, I tried to make it as short as possible. Like if I was actually going to go into details, it was going to be extremely long, but I didn't want this video to be too long. So I don't start boring you guys. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure you check out RPG show hair. If you love this hair, like I do. Cause like I told you guys in one of my videos, I'm now really a short hair girl. I love short hair now because it's just easy to work with this wig is super light it looks full yeah but then it's not heavy it's light it's perfect for this weather and yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video Bye. <laughs>